So tips, think like an investor, try not to get caught up in the romance and you might hold it for a long time. Um, I say that Potts Kettle Black currently renovating a grade two listed a house with I bought with no roof for half a million quid and currently renovating a grade two listed church. Pot kettle black, but moving on, I'm doing that for fun. Okay, elevator pitch. So I think we're going nicely through the whole process of the day, thinking through how to raise money, how to look at deal evaluation. And Courtney, I hope that's helped you that I kind of went, no, nine is statistically too small a number to give you a good uh, response of, of correct analysis really it's one of the things i see time and time again people generally under research their deals you've either you've got two mistakes you either do far too much paralysis analysis which is a real shame because people don't jump into being an entrepreneur so at that point my job is to try and make you make that scary leap <laughs> looking at no one in particular but you know it's all right it's fine or people go yeah yeah it's fine and they just jump after doing three bits of analysis and it's like Man, you could be making a mistake there because you don't know why that particular property sold for too much or too little. So we actually even want to, when we do deal analysis, we want to see properties that have sold for less than what we identify. If you look at our deal reports, frequently, let's just say we say it's worth 150, then frequently we'll look at uh, putting something in that's like 139 because we want to do the full range because we want to have the intelligent conversation of the investor to Ash to say, well, even though you've told me that's 150, why was that 139? And there's a reason why we believe ours to be more. And so we want the range. We don't, want, we don't make our research fit. We, we publish the research as it exists. Do you see what I mean? And then you can have that intelligent conversation first with the research and secondly with your investor. Okay, now we're on to the somewhat Englishly embarrassing moment, which is about elevator pitch. So let me do you mine again. I used to have a beautifully published brochure, which is now a historical museum artifact. And uh, they'd be like leading into the service moment the guys that run the pins and uh, and I'd be like oh no oh no oh this is awful I actually had my pitch written in my purse because I was far too nervous see look I've like a mother I'm already rocking myself trying to calm myself down and I would have my pitch written in my purse 10-15 minutes before the service provider break you know the 20 seconds you get to pitch I'd be slipping it out my purse I could no longer hear the key speaker because I was too nervous, my, my blood was going up here, my ears were rushing and I could hear noise in my ears. So if you get that feeling it's all right, I did too. My pitch, I was going, okay, my name is, my name is, and I was reading off my pitch and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm really nervous, I'm really nervous. Why am I doing this? Why am I not home? I don't watch te telly, although I do watch first dates at the moment. Oh, so cute. But why am I not just watching EastEnders? Why do I put myself into these, difficult situations what what who am I what do I think for heaven's sake you're just being you know that neg head talk which I don't do very much of but it comes out because you would want to be anywhere but there service providers okay okay you 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 oh my god oh my god my name is Susanna Cole I make money with my money and other people's money a typical example is Bought for 85,000, renovated seven grand, revalued, Rick Surveil, 130. If you want to make money with deals like that, with me, come and speak to me. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. <laughs> Anything anybody else said for the next 10 minutes, I couldn't remember, far too nervous. And that's totally true. So if you feel the same, you feel the same. Last year, we looked at Amy Cuddy's talk on TED Talks. It's actually, I believe, the most popular TED Talk there is about fake it till you make it. Did you see my body language? My name is Susanna Cole. <laughs> I am terrified, folks. But my body language went, come on. And in the past, if you've come in early to the mentoring programme, I always get nervous. So Colin McNulty came in last month and he could see me looking at my board going and, 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 and I was just working my body language until I was like, right, I'm ready. Okay, look at my body language, I'm ready, yay. So use body language. It's the Wonder Woman, what is the Wonder Woman pose? It's the Wonder Woman pose. And look, when I went, my name is, I kind of more or less went into automatically. Um, the other thing is if they make you line up, um, and I was, I was very fortunate there was taught this by an actress and I have spotted there's a pound down there. <laughs> How much money do you need to raise? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yes, yes. Good. 
is um, the, the very scary ones is when they make you line up. I was taught by an actress when I was um, a director at the SS Great Britain because, of course, we had to do presentations. She actually spent time with a you know, serious bunch of people running a very high caliber museum giving us acting skills. We literally had to walk around the boardroom with our book on our heads doo -doo 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 -doo, and we had to pull our voice from here down to here. And you have to walk very calmly, pull your voice down, down here. So if you've ever seen someone present and this is what happens, they're like, yay, can't wait for the presenter. And they go, oh, they've lost the room before they start. OK, I'm going to present now. So it's Susanna Cole. She totally rocks. Yay. Oh, really nice to be here. I'm going to give the hug, big hug. Thank you so much. OK. And pause. I'm here. Are you ready? And let's go. So you're owning the physical space. You've pulled your voice down. You've slowed your voice down. You slow walked, even though you're completely terrified. And it just helps your whole body stay rooted and grounded. And Stephanie, so, pardon? Yeah, you've got to remember what you're going to say. Stephanie from our mentoring group, who's a very experienced actress, does, I, I believe, they're very high quality workshops on presenting. So again, we've got... She did a great webinar about... Did she? Presenting. Great. So great. So I believe they're highly recommended. Go for it, guys. So just think about some of those key tips. Don't rush, don't hurry. 